if you do this, if you use the words, I worship you, Holy Ghost, and enter into the room that those words bring you, you will be set up for the restoration of all things. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. What if I told you that what you're doing and what you have been doing isn't going to work in the future you see you need to be all in a lot of things that you don't know you don't know because you're not all in you're not in this room of Holy Ghost worship you've been playing around at the door but until you fully enter say fully enter you can't know the things that are in that room you need to be fully in you need to be fully in I create the new not the old a new society a new currency a new religion God wants this God doesn't want the old he wants the new he doesn't want the old and neither should you what if I told you that what you have been doing it isn't gonna work anymore I hope you can hear that but something else will some people are so invested in the old preachers included they're so invested in the old that they're unwilling to sacrifice it their old stuff for the new economists call this sunk costs they've already spent so much on that that they're unwilling to go along without it they're trying to figure out a way to take all of that garbage with them stop trying to bring your old garbage with you sunk costs are time and effort and resources on things that are no longer going to produce I know I've been there I have hundreds of messages based on something old sunk costs let them go people try to make decisions based on protecting those old costs instead of that which will make the future say make the future anything pre Holy Ghost worship is subject to removal is this fun yet anything pre I worship you Holy Ghost is subject to removal Holy Ghost worship is a new way everything is new in this room everything 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 is new in here it's effortless to revert to the old ways it takes no effort it takes no sacrifice just to keep thinking the same way and saying the same things in the same way that you used to say them before no effort whatsoever and certainly no sacrifice I personally have sunk costs of hundreds of messages we used to print CDs and mail them all over the place hundreds and hundreds thousands really that I've had to sacrifice because they're not based on this new reality of the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God God have mercy on us that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind 
that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God many times you have to present your old messages to God as a sacrifice it might have been good then but it's no longer acceptable to where we're at please hear me some of you know exactly what I'm talking about we've held on to those things like they're a precious jewel when the fact is they need to be let go consider it a sacrifice it's part of the sacrifice it took for you to get where you are today embrace the new and let go of the old many of those old messages are no longer acceptable over here we've gone from the good to acceptable and we're going to perfect but just because it was good for a time doesn't mean that it's acceptable now it's not acceptable I don't accept that what was once good is no longer acceptable be not conformed to the world be transformed by the renewing of your mind renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God you want to get to the perfect you want to get to the perfect you want to get to the perfect then you must leave the good and the acceptable behind get used to it so what if you had to change the way you're thinking be renewed transformed in the way you think I wasn't thinking this way before I'm thinking this way now which made not only you you're in a better place and a more acceptable place but you have to get rid of the old thinking which was good I'm not saying it wasn't good it was good but it's no longer acceptable I can't listen to certain things that I used to listen to before it was good but it's no longer acceptable hear me you want to get to the perfect you must leave the good and acceptable behind and often that means people that are attached to those doctrines are you here people that are attached to those ministries you have to leave them behind remember the parable of the ten virgins and the sound came for them to get up and leave and some of them had oil in their lamps other ones didn't then the ones without the oil said oh give us some of your oil and what do the people do and I, I realize you can go a whole bunch of different directions with that but that's not the point here stay with me the people that were prepared to go on had to listen they had to send the other ones away they had to go on without them it's a choice you make the choice to go on you make the choice to embrace the new and listen when you embrace the new it automatically means you've chosen to leave the old behind but don't worry the new is much better it's night and day better it's a factor of 10 better and you sit there and scratch your head and go why was I even doing that before it's better beware of doctrines that you've attached yourself to are you hearing me beware of doctrines that you've attached yourself unto and warning there's a warning this doctrine that I'm preaching will not only take you there where you need to be but it will destroy the old if you're so in love with your old way of thinking and your old doctrine then go somewhere else I'm sending you back go back because I'm going on and this new doctrine I preach new is taking us there know that I've crossed over to the other side and I'm never going back I've crossed over to the other side and it's just a matter of time until everything else does
acts chapter 3 and verse 19 repent ye therefore what does repent mean it means turn around turn away from turn away from something you were doing and which means you turned the other way and now you're going this way repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord now most people say oh that's Jesus the presence of Jesus no it's not it's the presence of the Lord God the Holy Ghost read on and he shall send Jesus times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord who is God in the earth today who is with us in the earth today the Lord God Holy Ghost the Lord his presence is with you he shall send Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you whom are you still here whom the heaven must receive other translations say retain until the times of the restitution or restoration of all things where is Jesus here it says that Jesus must be retained and received in heaven until the times of restitution or restoration of all things which God hath spoken by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began now pay attention I was given by an angel these words I worship you Holy Ghost he said use these words I worship you Holy Ghost and I began to use those words day after day until those words me using them began to transport me into a completely different place and I became a Holy Ghost worshiper in doing this and if you do this you will be set up for the restoration of all things I hope you can hear this if you do this if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and enter into the room that those words bring you to and into you will be set up for the restoration of all things now listen the first thing that happens to you in that room well you start to be changed we go from glory to glory in there but if you continue in the room Jesus the old doctrinal Jesus leaves you and goes back and is seated at the right hand of God which is what the scriptures teach he's set down at the right hand of God the Father and shall return where's Jesus right hand of the Father what's he gonna do he's going to return when we fulfilled all things spoken by the mouth of the Holy Prophet since the world began are you here it puts you in the right place it sets you up you are set up for the restoration of all things say I'm set up for the restoration of all things spoken you see it's you and the Holy Ghost in the earth speaking words those things that were already prophesied fulfillment of all things spoken by the Holy Prophet they've already been spoken say they've already been spoken so you're here to fulfill all things spoken say I'm here to fulfill all things spoken the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words if that's your reality you are set up to fulfill all things spoken say that's me well now that you are set up I'm in that room I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost as God I walk with him in the earth all things spoken that's your new reality all things spoken say my new reality 
is all things spoken I live in the reality of all things spoken I don't live in the reality of all things not spoken are you here I'm set up I'm in the earth I'm walking with the Holy Ghost as God near today speaking in agreement with his words fulfilling scripture fulfilling scripture this is where you live it has become my religion Matthew 4 4 says a man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God that proceeds out of the mouth it's my life it's my religion I walk with the Holy Ghost as God near today speaking in agreement with his word that's my life and to the degree you learn to speak is the degree you learn to live I live all things spoken I live all things spoken how do you do it well let's take a specific scripture a financial scripture are you still here Proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it is that a promise spoken by men of old holy men of old then that promise needs to be fulfilled the only way it will be fulfilled is by you speaking it so we take this one specific financial scripture Proverbs 10 22 and you say it and you say it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it and you say it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it I begin to live by every spoken word of God the spoken word of God changes you the spoken word of God transforms you you become the thing said you fulfill the spoken scripture you fulfill Proverbs 10 22 in the earth listen if you get your money this way it will never be taken from you it can't be I'm not praying I'm saying I don't need to pray Proverbs 10 22 he already said Proverbs 10 22 I'm already blessed and you get in agreement with it by saying his scriptures the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it some of you are getting this you see it's me and the Holy Ghost in the earth speaking words it's me and the Holy Ghost in the earth speaking words fulfilling scripture it's me and the Holy Ghost in the earth speaking words and fulfilling scripture get that straight some of you don't have it straight if your doctrine and the things that you were preaching before aren't in line with that then your doctrines not straight if your old way your sunk costs and sermons don't line up with that it's subject to the chopping block I'm called to chop it off I get paid if I destroy the old get it straight if it doesn't line up with the Holy Ghost God near today and you walking with him by saying words and Jesus shall return then you need to have it removed and you need to cut it out are we having fun yet it's better that you enter into the new without it because you're not coming in if you don't let it go Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that you're causing them to worship you and know you as God and speak only your words and in agreement 
with your words and as you do says the Spirit Lord those things that you thought impossible will surely come to pass and that quickly because you've entered into the new and this new day has come and this new way has come and it is your way now say goodbye to the old for the old could not take you here but you've entered in and you have become a new and living in a new way and a new life and the new life is great and we shall go on from here we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are the Living God and I walk with you in the earth by saying words I give and it's given unto me good measure press down shake it together running over to men give into my bosom with the same measure I've met it's measured back to me thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today